So, we're kicking off the epic saga of Punky Brewster with a broken fridge. Talk about a chilling start. Yes, folks, that's right. Our tale begins not with a bang, but with a fizzle and a pop, as Henry's trusty old icebox decides to retire. But fear not, for our hero does not falter. Instead, he bravely ventures into the wild world of refrigerator shopping. There's something inherently dramatic about a failing fridge, don't you think? One moment, it's the silent guardian of your leftovers. The next, it's a ticking time bomb, threatening to unleash the stench of a thousand forgotten meals. Ah, the unpredictability of household appliances. But let's not forget the replacement fridge. The new kid on the block, the fresh face ready to take on the monumental task of keeping your dairy products at a safe temperature. A silent hero stepping up to the plate, or should we say the cooling rack? So, here we are, at the precipice of a great adventure, a journey into the heart of domestic drama. Who knew a kitchen appliance could hold so much power, so much potential for chaos? And thus, our journey into appliance anarchy begins. Hold on to your leftovers, folks. Meanwhile, in the wild realm of school, we're learning CPR. Because nothing says fun day at school, like practicing life-saving maneuvers. Yes, folks, our very own Mike, the master of all things educational, decides to teach his class CPR. But let's be honest, CPR in a classroom is like trying to teach ducks to line dance. It's all flapping and no rhythm. Enter Alan, our resident class clown. This guy could turn a funeral into a comedy show. He's got the timing of a broken clock and the subtlety of a fire alarm. As Mike tries to teach the class the difference between a chest compression and a chest bump, Alan is busy turning the mannequin into a ventriloquist's dummy. Look Mike, it's saying it doesn't need CPR, it just needs a nap. But Mike, being the ever-patient educator, tries to steer Alan back on track. Alan, this isn't about making the dummy talk, it's about saving lives. To which Alan responds, yeah, but wouldn't it be easier to save lives if they could just tell us what's wrong? Oh, Alan, if only it were that simple. Of course, Alan's antics land him where they always do, the principal's office. As he exits the classroom, he turns to his classmates. Don't worry, guys, I'll be back soon. Just need to go and learn some real life-saving techniques, like how to survive a meeting with the principal. And with that, Alan secures his place in the principal's office. Maybe next time he'll think twice before turning CPR into a comedy routine. Back at home, it's time for a game of hide-and-seek. But, spoiler alert, it's about to become a lot less playful and a lot more refrigerated. Now, we've all played hide-and-seek, right? It's a game as old as time, a classic. You count to ten, no peeking, and then dash off to find your friends who've scurried off to the best hiding spots they can find. But in this case, our gang of kids takes this game to a whole new level. Cherie, being the savvy little sprite that she is, decides to hide in the most unexpected of places. An old refrigerator. Talk about thinking outside the box. Or, rather, inside the box. It's a hide-and-seek strategy that's as chilling as it is unexpected. Meanwhile, Punky, Alan, and Margot turn into mini-detectives, searching high and low behind every couch cushion and under every bed. The suspense is mounting. Where could Cherie be? The anticipation is as thick as the plot of a Sherlock Holmes novel. The game of hide-and-seek has suddenly turned into a thrilling whodunit, but as the minutes tick by, it's clear this isn't just a game anymore. The hide-and-seek stakes have been raised. The atmosphere shifts from playful to panicked, from hide-and-seek to hide-and-squeak. The laughter is replaced with worried whispers. Cherie is still missing. And then, the chilling realization. The old refrigerator. The one that should have had its door removed. The one that's now a frosty fortress, trapping our little Cherie. The game of hide-and-seek has taken a turn, folks. It's gone from fun to fridge-tenning. As it turns out, hide-and-seek is not just a game, it's an extreme sport, who knew? Just when you thought it was safe to open the fridge, it's the chilling climax of our story. Picture this. Henry and Alan, our unlikely duo, stumble upon the hide-and-seek champion of the century, Cherie who's made the old refrigerator her icy fortress. Talk about a cool hiding place, right? But oh no, she's not responding. Cue the dramatic music as our heroes are left in a pickle. Alan, poor soul, missed his CPR class thanks to his little rebellion. He's as useful as a chocolate teapot at this point. But fear not, folks, for Punky and Margot swoop in to save the day. They've got the CPR knowledge, they've got the determination, and they've got... Well, they've got the only chance our fridge-trapped friend has. With the precision of seasoned surgeons, they get to work. It's a tense moment, folks, a true test of their classroom CPR comedy. 
All that puffing and blowing they practiced on rescue dummies? It's all come down to this. Will it pay off? Will they manage to thaw Sherry out of her chilly predicament? Well, spoiler alert, they do. Yes, you heard it right. They managed to successfully revive Cherie, making this a tale of unexpected heroics, dramatic scenes, and a refrigerator that really should have had its door taken off. And there you have it. CPR saves the day, and the fridge turns out to be the real villain. Talk about a plot twist. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound life lessons delivered by this episode of Punky Brewster. We had a whirlwind of events right from Henry's old refrigerator conking out to a hide-and-seek game that took a chilling turn. We were taken on a roller coaster of emotions and CPR demonstrations, all wrapped up in the shenanigans of Punky and her pals. The episode was a smorgasbord of unexpected twists, with Alan's classroom antics leading to a missed CPR lesson and Cherie's hide-and-seek strategy landing her in a discarded refrigerator. Who knew a children's show could serve up such a hearty helping of suspense and cold storage safety? We even got a dash of comedy with Cherie's post-rescue hunger pangs. I mean, who isn't ravenous after being trapped in a fridge? But the sweet cherry on this Sunday of absurdity was the heartfelt moment where Henry and Alan decide to learn CPR together in a touching tribute to the power of life-saving skills. So what did we learn today? Always remove the door from your old fridge. CPR is a handy skill and never, I repeat, never play hide-and-seek around large appliances. Until next time, folks.